What's up guys? Tony Regan here. And as you may know, I'm from Chicago. And I just realized I haven't done one of the great Chicago recipes. An awesome Chicago style deep dish pizza. So today I'm going to go ahead and cook up a simple basic version of this great recipe. That's right. We're making that awesome Chicago deep dish pizza. So let's just go ahead and get started and jump right into this one. Like I said, I'm doing a super basic, easy version of the Chicago style deep dish pizza. So to start, preheat your oven to 425 degrees. And now what I have is I have a cheesecake spring form pan. Um, and what I did is I sprayed a little bit of oil on the inside so it's nice and coated. I went ahead and I bought a store bought crust. I'm gonna go ahead and roll this out so that way it'll cover the whole bottom of my spring form pan. That's it for the crust. All I did is after I rolled it out, I went ahead and put it in the pan. And I tucked it in so it's touching uh, the bottom and the sides on all sides. Now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pop this in my oven for about 10, uh, 10 or so minutes. I just want this to start to brown up and start to get a little bit stiff. And now that our crust is done in the oven, we're ready to move on and finish this one off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that can of diced tomatoes, I went ahead and I drained this. I'm going to go ahead and add some rosemary some basil, some oregano, and a little bit of minced garlic. And then I'm going to start to stir this all together, adding in some salt. You're going to do the salt to your taste. Once that's all mixed together, we're going to take our sliced mozzarella, lay that at the bottom of our uh, baked crust, Take some pepperoni and layer that on top of that uh, mozzarella cheese. I'm going to pour in about half of my tomato mixture. Create another layer of cheese and pepperoni. top that with my Parmesan cheese then I'm gonna go ahead and pop this back in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes and that's it your deep dish pizza is ready no really it is that easy just take a look at this how awesome this came out everything's cooked nicely it's stuffed but you know what we can't just look at this we gotta go ahead Dig in and just give this a try. Mmm. This is so good. Guys, if you need step-by-step -step printable instructions, check out AverageGuyGourmet.com. Like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel, and definitely give this recipe a try, and we'll see you guys next time.